All right, fans, I'm here with Casey Flack, IWI, and we've got the Glio Ace. This was at the top of my list of the stuff that I wanted to check out here at the 2015 SHOT Show. IWI has been kicking ass with this gun all around the world, and I wanted to get my hands on it. Casey, thanks for helping us. That's my if pleasure. If you would, take us through the product, and when the folks at home will be able to get these bad boys. Okay. Uh, the first Glio Ace we're going to bring in is a 7.62 by 39. Okay, we're going to offer it in a pistol. So it'll look like this without the stabilizing brace. Okay, and then we're also going to offer it with a side folding stabilizing brace, which is designed to help the shooter shoot it as a pistol. Okay, we're also going to be bringing in the full length rifle, 16 inch barrel, also with the side folding adjustable stock. Cool. Timelines? Uh, we're looking at the pistol, it's going to be first, sometime uh, late February, early March. Uh, shortly following that is the pistol with the side folding stabilizing brace. And then probably around June, you're going to see the full length rifle available. Good deal. Now, this is basically a modified and lightened Galil, correct? It is. It is modified. Improved Galil. And the way we, uh, one of the original complaints about the Galil was the weight of the weapon. Okay, and one of the things that we did was we used polymer to create the lower frame. Okay, we still mill a steel receiver. Okay, but we've used that the uh, polymer to lighten it up quite a bit. Okay, some of the features that we've uh, added to it or modified on it, the first is the charging handle, which used to be on the right side of the firearm, is now gone to the left side. Okay, we've also added a dust cover, so when you're working the action, you're still closing okay, the inner workings of the gun, you're not exposing it to the dirt and debris. Okay, we have the standard okay, safety on the right side, and we've also added it on the left side of the firearm as well. So it's fully ambidextrous. The handguard's got some rails on it, correct? The handguard has three rails on both sides and on the bottom. One of the nice things about the side rails is that we've also milled in a little channel so you can run your pressure switch right into here. You can pop this little tab on the cover and activate the pressure switch. Cool. And that's on both sides. And then of course a rail that runs on the bottom. Good deal. What are we looking at price-wise here? MSRP, you're looking at the pistol somewhere around $16.99, uh, pistol with brace, uh, $17.99, and the full length rifle, you're going to be close to $2,000, maybe just a little bit under. Okay. And then the goal eventually is 762 by 51 308 versions, correct? That is correct. And 556. Well, and 556. Now, the neat thing about the 762 NATO, uh, we're going to bring it in, it's going to use SR25 magazines. Oh, really? Wow, so you're getting away from the Galil 762 mag. Yes. Oh, cool. Uh, magazine release will be forward to the trigger guard. Kind of redesigning it for the U.S. market. And, that, and it'll yeah. have last round bolt hold open. Oh, wow. Cool. It'll be the same thing on the 556 platform, which will probably be sometime next year. Well, I'm a big assault rifle guy. You know, the, the fans at home know that. I've been waiting for this to come in. I will definitely be one of the first guys in line to get one. Absolutely. We'll Thank get you, one brother. You can run it. Thank it's you my very pleasure. much. Galil Ace coming your way soon. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.